Hey, welcome back to the next SciApps video. What we're going to do today is L-grade stainless. This is the application that we have been waiting for and working towards for years now. And I'm, I'm Don Sackett, the CEO and co-founder of, uh, of SciApps. I'm here with Brendan Connors, who you might remember from our previous carbon video. Brendan's one of our senior scientists here. He's the developer of this uh, method to do carbon, and particularly to do uh, L-grades. So welcome, Brendan. So he's, we're going to shoot some samples in a few minutes, but let's see. Let me ask you a quick question about this. Um, first of all, this is the only handheld on the planet that can measure carbon at low enough concentrations to separate L grades, standard grades of stainless, and H grades of stainless. Yeah. So what have you done? Because about three months ago, we were doing carbon steels, but we were only getting down to about 0.1%, maybe a little lower. What have you done? since then to drive this detection limit down to about 0.01 or 0.15 so you can do the L grades. Okay, so uh, the analyzer still looks a lot like our standard yeah. Z200 yeah. analyzer, um, but we've uh, put in a high resolution spectrometer for uh -huh. that carbon line down in the UV at 193 nanometers okay. to help separate it from some iron lines that right. uh, overlap. Um, we also use some ultra pure argon and um, we've implemented, also along the lines of the spectrometer, we've implemented an ultra-precise wavelength calibration algorithm mm -hmm. to make sure that that uh, carbon line shows up repeatably at the same location every time. Yeah. Um, and we've also enhanced our data rejection and uh, data analysis okay. algorithm. So in case you did a bad grind, um, which is especially common testing these really low levels of carbon, um, the analyzer will let you know that. All right. Bill Gates of carbon here. Here we go. <laughs> so we've got some of these units in the field. We've got customers using them for L grades, early adopter type of customers. We're getting really good feedback. We're doing demos. It's going well. Um, a couple of comments I've heard are compared to optical emission. They love the data rejection because they say that they, it's really great that the analyzer will tell them when a reading seems to be bad because of poor precision on the carbon compared to all the other shots. Mm -hmm. And I think they like that because, for example, that's typically where you have a poor grind. Yeah. Is it, would you say that's, if you get a bad reading, it's because of a bad grind almost all the time? Um, yeah, much of the time. Could yeah. be an inhomogeneous sample too. You're yeah. not as likely to run yeah. into that with these stainless, uh, okay. stainless samples, but it's a possibility too. All right. Excellent. So I like that. Obviously, the fact that it's handheld is a big deal. Test takes about, well, we do average about five tests, each one about three seconds, so it's kind of a 15-ish, maybe 20-second test. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah. A, that number of averaging is variable, yeah. but we'd recommend a, at least yeah. five tests to average together. Excellent. I love this little grinder. All right, very good. Well, what do you think? Should we shoot some samples and show yeah. these people that, you know, that it actually works? Sure. All right. What do you want to do first? Um, so let's do some 316, and then we'll compare it to 316L. Okay, got it. And the car what's the carbon in this guy? Um, so this one is, I think, 0 0.04, okay. 042. All right. Remember all these? Uh, yeah. Hundreds of samples. You remember the carbon number, the three digits on every one? These are all my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good sense of humor for a scientist. <laughs> I get that sometimes. greatest <laughs> collection. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's the shot. Ugh. How are we doing in Oregon? We're good? Yeah, yeah we're good. All right. There you go, okay. 316. So, 049. Well, so what is it in there? Um, it's 042 or 044. Oh, that's, okay, 044. That's great. That's a good result. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to do 316. All right, this is the big one. The low carbon one. Anybody can do 316. <laughs> Although nobody can measure that carbon. Just mess with the grind. All right, so this is 316 now, so it's down around 02 or something? Um, yeah, this, uh, this is pretty low, 0 0.015 or so. Really? Okay, 0.015, wow. So we'll probably just see this as low or less, less than Yeah, or less than, a, less than the detection limit. And you think the detection limit is about 02? Um, yeah, 01 to 02, somewhere oh. around there. Oh. Money shot. There you go, 316 now. What you got? Uh, 023. There you go. Nice. Very impressive. Yeah. All right, should we push our luck and do a 304? Sure. Yeah. So I have a 304 right. and a 304L. So uh -huh. try the 304 first. Okay. All right. 
This one has about 0.05% carbon in it. Oh, piece of cake. <laughs> Free sandwich if you get this one right. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> Right. This looks so easy, I could use it. Would you uh, say that's true? Or, uh, we or? try to make it very user friendly. <laughs> <laughs> You're very diplomatic, for two. There you go. Uh, okay, so 046 for about an 05 sample. That's good, man. That is really impressive. Okay. Okay. Here's then, the big one 304. Right, so now we do 304. All right, you're on a roll. Uh. And this is a higher purity argon we're working with? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. High, high purity argon. Yep. Which helps. Oh, yeah. All right, here it is. It's not rejecting really any tests. That's good. No, that means, that means you have a good grind. Yeah, it right? just means we, we did a good yeah. grind. Oh, there we go. So one rejected test rejected. One. Yeah. All right. Hit it again. Well, better to know than not to know. I think when it comes to that, right? All right, there you go. Okay. Three or four L. And what's that? Uh, o two six, and it's got about O two four in it. Oh, you really got to clean this up. I know. I know. Oh, Do that's... better grind next time. <laughs> That is phenomenal, thank you. All right, so what do we show? We shot, so we shot 304, 304L, 316, 316L. We could separate them all on the carbon content. Yep, and we can do H grades too, we so can do higher H, carbon, yep. of course we can do. Yeah, that's, that just gets easier. And of course, we, as we showed earlier, we, we can do the, we do the carbon steels. And you, you've even been able to do uh, cast irons, which are up in the two, several percent range carbon. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so we have a dedicated calibration for stainless steels, um, for low alloy steels, steels. carbon steels, and okay. we can do car, uh, uh, cast irons as okay. well. So excellent. one to um, as, high, as high as they come. Yeah, excellent. All right. Let's take a minute to talk about best practices, because we, we didn't mention that at the beginning. Um, I think what you've told me... Um, is that grinding is, especially with these stainless steels, it's just critical. I mean, you're yeah. down on the 01, 02 percent carbon, and you really have to get a good grind. Mm -hmm. True enough. So what do you yeah. say? And then you said you also, if you're using our grinder, if you, this is the grinder we recommend if you want a handheld grinder. Most, most people that are, gonna, that are using this unit already have a grinder and they're comfortable with it, and that's great. If you use our grinder, you were saying you change the pad about every... How many tests? Would you uh, do? Every every few samples. I mean, ideally every two or three samples. Sometimes yeah. you can go a little longer than that. But, yeah. Um, yeah, for yeah. for for best performance, every two or three samples. And that's just because you pick up. It doesn't take much dirt to pick up on this to, yeah. to leave on a new sample. Yeah. And when you're talking O2 or O3 percent, it's so easy to cross contaminate. Is yeah. That really, the deal. Yeah, and also they're okay. hard samples, and so the abrasive wears down over yeah. time. I see. Okay, so grind well. Replace this every few samples um, and every time you change the argon canister uh, probably take a look at the quartz window maybe clean yep. it yeah and argon canister normally in our normal unit the argon canister will last about 600 tests but because we're averaging several tests maybe it only lasts about 100 tests or so 100 120 maybe? about that yeah yeah okay so there you go so but that's okay because it's the world's only handheld analyzer that'll do these L grades all right Okay, well, thanks a lot. Okay. Brennan Connors, the inventor of this. Anyway.